What's good, YouTube? We are back with another video. Y'all been begging for this build. This stretch facilitator, y'all literally... Bro, every video, y'all been commenting, you want the build? Okay, I got you. I got you. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. But before I get into the build, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that sub button if you're new. Like the video. And let's get straight into it. I'm going to show y'all the build at 99. And then I'm going to explain why you should make the build. All right, let's look at the build. This build is... It can do it all. This is a demigod build. It can really do everything. So first off, let's get into the shooting at 86 three-pointer and at 86 mid-range. As you can see from these clips, I've never felt so comfortable shooting with a build. Like this build, I can hit a contest. I can hit a half-court shot. It does not matter. I'm just consistently greening every shot. And as you see from the clips, it looks like I'm not greening, but if you look at the top right, I'm greening these shots. I just took off splash, the splash animation, so you don't see the full like green splash animation. But this, bro, I don't know if it's my jump shot, but I've never felt so comfortable shooting. I'm green in everything. Contested. It does not matter. If you guys do want my jump shot, I'm going to probably, that's probably going to be my next video. I'm thinking, I'm going to show y'all my jump shot because my jump shot is chicken. Oh my God. I hit everything. Oh, I, sh I literally go lights out. I got to shoot seven for seven. Not every game. You know what I'm saying? Not every game, but I'll be shooting 100% sometimes. Like, as you can see, I'm hitting contested shots. It does not matter. Look at I'm bopping people. Green. Oh my god. Like, chat, we be running up streaks every day. But um, but next up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all 71 ball handle. And y'all been asking for my sigs. Y'all been asking for a lot of things. And y'all don't think a 71 ball handle can move. But I'm gonna show you a 71 ball handle is more than enough. Alright, first up we got a little spin back. Hey, oh my, nah, this this build be moving, trust me. Y'all just gotta learn moves. It's more of knowing how to do certain moves. Other than like the ball handle doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give y'all my six because six do matter. But if you know how to do these moves, you're gonna be speed boosting. You're gonna be bopping kid. Like, bro, he where is he going? That man was lost. But like has been step back. I'm gonna show you how to do that step back. It's a big one. Big step back. Hop, step back, you know what I'm saying? It's really about the moves that you know. Like, as you see from this clip right here, like, this dude could, he's spinning it. So I got him spinning in circles. But this time, you know what I'm saying? Do a little glitchy, spam, hezzy. I'm going to show y'all all how to do this. I might do a dribble hand cam. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the hop. Like, that little hop right there, it'd be killing people. And then you got, like, the step back. And then this spin. The spin is so lethal. That spin be getting people lost. I promise you. And you know what I'm saying? A little snatch back. This move, you just gotta learn your moves. And this build can do them. You just gotta get consistent with your drill moves. Try not to over dribble. You know what I'm saying? Just one or two moves. If it doesn't get you open, you can rim run. Before we get into the finishing, let me show you the defense. The defense on this build is crazy. I'm gonna show, bro, I've never got so many snatch blocks in a few days with a build. You get rim takeover, a good rebound, a good lateral quickness, a good block. And um, a good perimeter defense. You could guard any build, post scores, play shots. All right, let me show you these clips. Let me show you these clips. All right, so we snatch that out of the air, you know what I'm saying? Do I sell a clip? I'm going to show you. you. Bro, you don't sell clips on this build. This build gives you superpowers. Green. And then look, you want to steal the ball? Green. Hey, 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 next game. Snatch. Snatch that contact. Green. Like, this build is built different. Rim take, we going crazy. Look at another snatch block. Do I finish this one? Nah, I cut it out. I, I cut it out, but I did not finish that one. Send that back. But this build is like a tall perm lock that can guard centers. This build, the defense is definitely there. And you're going to get a lot of clips of you just getting snatch blocks. Bro, no one's dunking on you. Trust me. Look at snatching a mascot. And look, do I sell a clip? Do I sell a clip, chat? No, I never sell the clip because this build is built different. Look, he thought you were safe. You know, pull the chair on him. Steal from him. I'm he's cold. Snatch him again. Like I just be bullying people on this build. He literally flopped. And you already know I didn't sell the clip. So let's get into the finishing though. The finishing. You know, you're probably thinking defense, playmaking, shooting. It gotta have terrible finishing, right? No, it does not. This the finish on this build is actually really good. So you get a lot of standing dunks, but you also get the driving unblockable dunk that everybody hates. So this build has a really high standing dunk, and it has a high enough driving dunk to where you could dunk around people. You know, you don't really get blocked unless you take some stupid shit up. And like, look, 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 you can just run to the rim and get a standing dunk. You can really dunk whatever. Or if you're in chase sound, you got the unblockable dunk. You got this little flashy dunk. I might take that dunk off though. You be getting blocked a lot with that dunk. But like, as you see, like the finishing is there. You're definitely going to finish better than like a play shot or something. 
it's not like terrible finishing and as you can see like yeah like bro you could really just rim run all you want i'm not gonna lie you don't gotta shoot it's low-key a toxic build because if you don't want to shoot you're not really feeling it you just rim run it's like it was, they can't really stop you they play too high you could blow by it's really simple but with that being said we're gonna get straight into the build it's a power forward make sure you make him a power forward hand does not matter left right whatever you want and the pie chart is gonna be the mostly green red pie chart because this is like a really tall perm lock that can iso it's like a demigod perm lock if you think about it it's gonna be pure speed you want the most speed out of this build and now copy my exact attributes you're gonna want to max out close shot max out standing and driving dunk max out min range max out three point max out all your playmaking you're gonna want as much playmaking as you can now on the defense i had to adjust it a little bit it's gonna it should look like that but we don't want steel steel's not that important you still get steals you just gotta get bumps so max out the rebound and then put the rest on free throw so i'm gonna pause the video give y'all time to copy it down real quick the badges it's not a lot of badges but you gotta understand the attributes are so balanced and this build can do everything so the finishing you get like limitless gold slithery gold so that's enough to finish really good you get some good shooting some good playmaking and some good defense also you guys gotta understand in those clips i'm not even a legend i've not had a single extra badge so if you're a low-key tryhard legend with like four extra badges you could really make this build even better than what i was like i'd be streaking every single day but if you're a legend nah this build is low-key gonna be built different trust me for the body type it doesn't really matter i'd be picking defined you could pick whatever but he is six seven you're gonna want to lower the weight all the way he's gonna be a weak little twig but he's gonna be fast you know want to max out the wind spin and as you see from the attributes this build is already looking stacked now i'm gonna be honest with y'all this is where it gets tough I picked rim takeover so I can get stops on post scores on the one squirt. But if I really thought about it, play take would have been funner. You know, get little ankle breakers, maybe shot creating take, make some crazy shots. Or if I had sharp take with how I'd be shooting with my jump shot and like, bro, if I had sharp take, I might actually never lose a game. Like I said, I picked rim take, but if I was you, I'll pick like sharp. I mean, you could pick a rim take if you want to get like play better defense. And it's really up to you, but sharp take, I can just imagine how good that would be. And if I were you, I will go sharp take or rim take. You can't really go wrong. You go shot cream take, play take. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to pick rim take again because that's what I picked the first time. So here you have it, the stretch facilitator. Ooh, this build looking not, bro, not only does it have a nice name, like you're a stretch facilitator. You just sound like a demigod. You know what I'm saying? You sound like a, you sound like Duke Dennis. This is like a Duke Dennis type build. You know, you were stretch. You finna go crazy on the stretch. And as you can see from these screenshots, I know it's only like a 25, 26. It's not like a 50. But I'd be going on these like every day. Like I hop on the court, go crazy and hop off. Or get dropped off by a post score. That's why you should pick sharp take. Because like post scores are going to drop you off regardless. And rim take is like, I don't know. I like rim take. It has its moments. But sharp take will actually like, you'll go crazy every single game. And you'll probably get it faster but with that being said i'm gonna try to post daily or as much as i can no more four weeks off that's never gonna happen again i'm trying to make this a job so if you can make sure to sub and support the channel i truly do appreciate y'all and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video it's probably gonna be a jump shot video because y'all been begging for my jump shot you know i'll be shooting lights out with that jump shot so i'm gonna catch y'all later